I'm joined here in uh, Eldon Square offices here with uh, Phil Steele. Uh, I'm going to ask him a couple of questions on uh, the subject we're talking about here in the documentary. Um, and how, how has online shopping impacted the high street stores for you? Well, the way that people shop has changed considerably. There's around about 19% of the population now buy online rather than, than shop in, in, uh, in centres. But I think what we're now seeing is people really want an experience. And so it's much more about having a day out, having interaction with people, having interaction with product, rather than just buying online, uh, which is kind of a soulless experience. Thank you. And uh, I've also found some information based on the amount of online shoppers compared to the amount of uh, traditional shoppers. And uh, there's been about 43.5 million people using online shopping uh, compared to uh, people who have used the traditional shopping, which is an all-time low. Uh, in, in your professional opinion, has, on, has shopping been revolutionised? Shopping clearly has been revolutionised. And those uh, retailers that have done well are retailers that have got a bricks and mortar, in other words, high street location, but also are strong online. Um, so the likes of John Lewis, uh, who I think about 40% of their sales are now online. Um, now, it's where retailers haven't embraced online that uh, there tends to be more of a problem. And I think also the nature of product that people buy in shops has changed as well. So if you go back 10 years, you had a lot of for instance, um, photographic shops that, that, sold, that sold cameras. Now, what tended to happen there is that there is a lot of price competition in that area, so people would go away, they would, they would come into the stores, have a look, see what they wanted to buy, and then go online. So it became an unsustainable uh, product area. Thanks. Um, has, has there been a fall in the amount of people visiting your shopping centre? No, we're, we're lucky, I think. Into who own 16 of the very largest shopping centres in the UK. Um, we t because they're large, they're out of town centres, we have the opportunity to really create an experience. So we've done a lot of work on perhaps reducing the amount of retail we have, but increasing the amount of restaurants and leisure so that it's almost a one-stop shop. So you've got the likes of Metro Centre and Eldon Square, which we own both of those, where people can come in have have that experience spend a day out have an enjoyable time um and and then and then go home but we've also put in things like free mobile phone charging um you know nice comfortable seating um all sorts of things that just make the whole experience much much more uh, much better for for customers that's brilliant. Uh, do, do you think pe uh, people have uh, changed their shopping habits by turning to online shopping in general, and why has this impacted your company? Well, I think c customers, um, it's, it's a kind of twofold experience. I think some things, um, what, what people will tend to do is have a look online, see what they can, they can get, um, see, see what they want, the, you know, the prices they want to pay. Um, and they'll come out to the shops and, and compare that. Uh, equally, the same thing applies. People, particularly for high price items, will go out there, um, have a look in the shops, um, decide what they want to buy, and then, and then uh, have a look online as well. So it's, that really explains, in a way, why retailers that have an on, a strong online presence and, and a strong high street presence um, are the ones that are continuing to do well. And uh, recent figures, uh, uh, we found out recent figures and shop losses made, uh, made, made you want to shop elsewhere, such as uh, the recent fall of Maplin on Greater Street, uh, Toys R Us in the Metro Centre, um, and the closure of High Street brand, a closure of High Street brand New Look, which is wanting to close stores in North Shields, Bulls End, New Look's men's store in the Metro Centre, and various others. Well, I think in a lot of ways, it it's not necessarily down to online shopping. So the likes of, I mean, we've always had a situation where fashion retailers and other retailers will cut back on the number of stores or they'll increase the number of stores that they've got. Um, the stores that they're talking about are ones that don't perform particularly well um, and they've used the opportunity to, to cut back on that space. Um, Maplins was a, quite a, a different um, situation. 
Um, but equally, New Look was very different. Uh, sorry, not New Look, uh, Toys R Us, where the American parent company collapsed. And uh, they've had problems in, in, the, in the UK. Um, again, it, it's what retailers need to do is to com- is continue to develop and, and um, improve the products they sell, the environment in which they sell it, which is increasingly important. And if, therefore, if you don't invest, you won't perform well. Um, into Eldon Square, uh, we've invested about £220 million in the last 10 years just to create the environment and the shops and the restaurants and the leisure that people want to see. And uh, therefore, our footfall continues to rise and uh, our retailers tend to do reasonably well. But there'll always be a churn, if you like, within um, the retail sector and indeed the restaurant sector as, as shops open and close. Uh, has been has been able to have another place to purchase products, uh, making the shopping centre lose out revenue because of this growing trend of people staying at home and ordering online? Well, as I said before, I think we're talking about 19%, I think, um, of, of retail sales through uh, in online. Um, my personal view is I don't think it will continue to grow at the same rate that it has done in previous years. Partly because the shopping experience online is fairly soulless. You, you know, who wants to sit in their house for, you know, or flat or wherever they live, looking at, a, at the internet and, and buying that way? Um, you'd also argue that the model at the moment for online retail is fairly unsustainable. Um, I think on average people buy about six or seven items, particularly in fashion area, but they'll return four or five of them because they're just really, you know, they haven't had the opportunity to try them on, so they'll try them on, oh, actually, that doesn't look so great on me. And um, and therefore, they'll return them. Now, a lot of retailers are, are spending huge amounts of money on, on that those returns and how you process those returns once you've got them back and so on. So I think there is a time when um, retailers will start to charge for returns. Um, and equally, I think when you look at things like business rates, which impact quite heavily on the high street, uh, the model for business rates needs to change so that um, we're on a level playing field, because at the moment, online retailers don't really, really pay any, any business rates, and that's quite a big um, cost to any high street operator. As, as on, online shopping being recently debated because of the less secure way of paying for products, such as uh, the use of online banking and using your card online instead of going to the store and using the card readers? Yes, I think there's always concern over, over that. I think what online retailers have done is tighten up considerably on um, retail fraud. I mean, the fraudsters are always finding new ways of, of getting um, into bank accounts and cloning cards and all the rest of it. But I think that will become, I think, less of a problem um, as we go forward and there'll be more secure methods of payment. Um, but I think that still remains a concern amongst customers. And I think it's um, less so amongst young people. I think young people are the ones who are really utilising that online presence. And uh, last question for you is, uh, has being part of an improving world caused you to maybe change your, uh, your own ho- online shopping, uh, your, own, your own shopping habits yourself and whether you will be just sticking to doing online shopping or sticking with the original tradition shopping method? Um, no, I'm getting quite old now, so I tend to stick more to the, to the traditional ways of shopping. But I, we do purchase a lot online in terms of flights and hotels and, and that kind of thing. And I... I feel quite comfortable um, about crossing channels, if you like, in terms of uh, <coughs> excuse me, things that um, you know, I feel comfortable buying online. Um, and I think the process is, is pretty straightforward and easy. On the other hand, if we're talking about holidays as an example, um, somewhere like Trailfinders um, offers a really good service because they can get better rates, they can tailor the the holiday to what to what you want to do and I think that's that's true of um, so I think what I tend to do and I think what a lot of people tend to do is do a lot of research online but they may well go back to the high street if you like to to purchase because then you've got an, a company that's taking responsibility for your travel 
in that case or indeed product. And I think people do feel much more comfortable about, as if, if we're talking about clothes, an example, trying them on, feeling comfortable, yes, I look good on that, getting a second opinion from their friend or whatever, um, and then they go and, and purchase. So I think multi-channel is here to stay, and I think um, it certainly isn't the death of the high street as have been mooted. Although I do think that whereas large shopping centres will do well, um, I think the high street is struggling, a lot of high streets are struggling, and a lot of smaller secondary and tertiary shopping centres are struggling because people want that experience. And to do that, you have to go into places like Newcastle or Metro Centre um, to be able to get that. So um, I think there are problems for the high street, but I think it'll tend to be the, the smaller high streets and, and shopping centres. Thank you very much, Phil. Okay, no problem at all.